is a recap. Yo, yo, recap. What a trip. Three weeks in the wilderness of Morocco. It's gonna be a memory that lasts with me forever. Feeling grateful for every little moment, for the ability to be so connected to nature and to have all those feelings. I've never seen a brand do something like this. Giving people the opportunity to leave such deep stories. This trip was incredibly challenging and hard for me, both physically and mentally, but it was so worth it. It was absolutely epic. I learned a lot about myself and the planet. I saw so many beautiful places and sceneries that I have never seen before. I could just like feel so happy and so grateful in this moment. And I think that I was sitting there just screaming like from the top of my lungs, like, oh my God, this is so beautiful. I love you. I love you planet. I love you nature. I'm so grateful for this opportunity, for, for this experience. The last one that will be in my memory is the hiking 10 hours. <laughs> my first time doing that kind of like long time for hiking. Uh, and it's not just anywhere, it's up to the top of the mountain, at the volcano, one of the famous volcano of the world in Morocco. And there was a lot of feeling involved in the hike, like excitement, amazement, as well as fear of sleeping. Yeah, I have my tear drop a bit. <laughs> Driving into camp and parking beneath a sand dune, and then setting up camp as a sandstorm comes in, working together as a team to set up our big yellow dome so we would have a place to eat dinner together. That felt like a true expedition. It felt like we had to work together. And, and I was smiling so much. I was so happy during that. It was kind of like hard, I think, in some moments. Um, for me, just personally, because I, I realized that the people all around me are so motivated, so happy about the challenges. But you know that that's just not me. I didn't know why am I here? Why am I joining this trip? I, I just didn't know. So I really thought about leaving. But in the end, I decided to stay. I think not because I was so sure, oh, I would made it. I love adventures. Life is an adventure in general. Life is a challenge in general. I mean, there will always be things we are not sure about. There will always be challenges and things we are scared of. And it was such a good decision because that trip showed me what I am able to do. I mean, I've been in the sandy desert the first time of my life ever, and it was so beautiful. Yeah, desert. I think the desert, yeah, that was the most challenging and beautiful moment I I've experienced in this three weeks journey being able to sleep outside in a beautiful sky full of stars. I'm um, sure you can't see the stars, but they are wonderful. Having to deal with such a big heat. Yeah, like I said, 50, 60 degrees uh, during the afternoon. So we had to do a lot in the morning, like wake up early, go for the sunrise. Good morning, people. Beautiful sunrise with such a different colors, going from orange to red to yellow to bluish. It's It was amazing. I think I had the most beautiful sunrises in the desert.
we've had a guide and his name is Samir and he's such a charming and laughing person, uh, knows everything about Morocco and always have been in a good mood. He was singing and dancing and making jokes and I loved being around him. So he's an unbelievable representation of what Morocco is. An a knowledge of this great vast wilderness and a very proud Moroccan cultural expert. And I very, very loved our Scorpion tour. It was our first really remote camping site and um, I was super tired. And then Chris and Tom convinced me to go with them to the Scorpion tour and also Justin came and we just thought yeah, when we're lucky, we may see one or two scorpions and we really have to look for them. <laughs> and then we walked two hours and we saw 67 scorpions. Wahnsinniges Erlebnis, so ein Skorpion nochmal an freier Wildbahn zu sehen. Das war einfach der Wahnsinn. Wir haben nur kurz weitergeguckt, sind nochmal 200 Meter weitergegangen und wir haben wirklich in zwei Stunden 67 Skorpione gefunden. Meeting Nomads and meeting several different families in several different locations in the mountains and in the desert was honestly, it was huge for me. I remember the first time seeing how they live. I was so emotional. I couldn't understand my feelings at, at all. Like I started crying when I was in the tent and I felt sadness, but I couldn't understand like where is this coming from because I didn't feel sad for them and for their lifestyle. I felt sad for me. It was really weird and it was like really overwhelming. I couldn't comprehend and it took me at least like two or three days to think about it and to understand like what exactly is happening. I was so touched by the kids helping their parents. I was so touched about how important kids are to parents. I mean, I feel like the only dream here is to provide for kids, provide for the family. That's the biggest thing that is important for them. And for us, is having cars, having vacation, having, you know, so much, and they just want to be happy with their family. That's all, that's all there is. The smile of children touch my heart every day and I feel so sensitive every time. I have experienced many things in the ground with my team members during this trip. Another equally unforgettable experience was gravel cycling. This one. Freedom! <laughs> it's my first time riding gravel bike in such a variety of um, geometry, this beautiful Morocco. The, I would say two places that I really love is the Grand Canyon, Morocco, and Amasin. They both have a really unique beautiful route. A very special moment for me is when we were leaving the desert and we had such a long driving day and we were all dirty and hot and we found a lake and we all got to swim in it and just laugh and it felt just like a group of friends going for a swim after having a really hard day of work and that none of it after that mattered because I think we were all a little bit on edge but that water just washed away all the problems. Yeah and being outdoors and experiencing like cool things like climbing or mountaineering or riding on the muli, um, all of this it's very nice when you do it yourself, but doing it together with people you love makes memory for me uh, very 
available. I, I did make a wish when there is the shooting star that I would love to meet everyone on this team again. Watching Teresa and Tom throughout this whole trip was one of the greatest highlights because I feel like they made the most of this. They were up the earliest for sunrise every single day. They were doing more work than almost anybody this whole trip. They were trying anything they could. They were so kind and, and generous with their time. I'm absolutely honored to have been able to meet them and I'm so happy they were here for this. They really were the definition of Go Backpack. All right, thank you for everybody that's watching this. Thank you for taking the time. Thank you for sharing our story and Moroccan people's story. And I hope there's gonna be so much more and I'm so grateful and I'm so happy to be part of this team and journey. And I love you, everybody that was there and everybody that's watching. I think life is about exploring the world and exploring yourself and you should dedicate yourself to that. At least that's what I do.